When we ask users to verbalize their thoughts and actions as we watch them use the design, it's called a thinking aloud study, and it's incredibly useful. It's a cheap way to get valuable insights directly from the user. It doesn't require any overly advanced facilitation skills on the part of the researcher, and it's very convincing for observers and team members to hear these direct user quotes about design and usability issues. Long story short, it makes sense to use the think aloud approach in lots of situations. However, there are times when it doesn't make sense. Namely, thinking aloud isn't a great fit for situations where you're observing expert users doing specialized or highly skilled work. That's because it's really hard for expert, specialized users to verbalize what they're thinking and doing as they do it. They're making decisions quickly, sometimes on a subconscious level, maybe based on tacit knowledge, and they aren't always really aware of all the micro decisions they're making. So what can you do then? Here are some things to try. First, you can try what we call retrospective or cooperative testing. This is a simple method where, as usual, we watch the user interact with a system, but we also take a video recording of their interactions. After a task or after a certain amount of time, the researcher and the user stop and they play back and watch that video together. The user and the researcher talk about any particular issues that they see, particularly usability challenges from either's point of view. Rewatching the video allows the user to articulate and recap what they were doing, what they were thinking, in a way that they're not really able to do during active work. Another way to get these insights is to provide an expert walkthrough. Here, you would demonstrate certain workflows or tasks to a group of expert users and have them observe and provide feedback about any potential usability issues they see. This way, they aren't doing the tasks themselves, but observing them. Thus, they're better able to comment. It's kind of like having a really knowledgeable sports commentator watching the game and helping you understand all the nuances of the plays that you might miss. I also highly advise integrating interactive interview sessions with work domain experts in your organization. People like system engineers or system integrators. These are not direct end users, but people inside the organization who have a deep understanding of the system and the domain. They can often demo common workflows and provide great insight about challenges and needs. When thinking aloud applies, use it. When it doesn't, a little creativity is required to just get the same kind of insights. So as a recap, here are three things you can try. Retrospective testing, where users rewatch and provide feedback on video clips of their actions. Expert walkthroughs, where the researcher demonstrates workflows and allows experts to provide feedback and partnering with domain experts to understand challenges and needs. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our UX videos, take a look at these over here and consider subscribing to our channel. On our website, inninggroup.com, you can access our free library of over 2,000 articles. You can also register for one of our UX courses that offer live hands-on UX training.